It may not show up for a bit. But. Welcome to our Transformation Tribe weekly call, awesome call. It's awesome tonight because we are on our own. Heidi is flying to um, Alaska tonight, and so we all get to be in charge of this call. So this is great fun. So welcome. It is November 21st, 2017, and welcome to the exciting call of the year so far. <laughs> okay. Jillian, you're on. Are you on? She's... Oh, I don't... She keeps falling off. I'm so sorry for her. Okay. So we'll yeah. just... She what is that? Boonies and it's. I don't know if she's at home, but it's pouring down rain here. So is it okay? We have, have bad connection. I don't know. We'll just see how we do. Um, Heidi wanted us to talk about the leadership call, and um, a couple of us didn't get to hear it, and so we are to have, doing takeaways from the leadership call from last night. Uh, so. Anybody, who, how many got to see it last night? Gwenny, oh, I'm I, so, uh, so glad you I saw, saw it. it today. <clears throat> I saw it today. I couldn't, I kept, my internet was bad last night. So um, it was a good call. Um, talked a lot about the new um, format website. for the website. <laughs> yeah, and that's pretty exciting. I was, I was getting a little panicked about it myself because... I don't know, that kind of stuff just kind of freaks me out. And I thought, you know what, we just got to trust this company that they're going to do the best for us that they can. And they'll have lots of training because I haven't got on any of the things they've sent so far. And um, Dr. A just made it sound like there's, it's going to be repeated over and over and over again. So we'll be fine. I'm excited. I can't wait till December 1st. Yep, yeah, that's great. Hi, Marilyn. Welcome to the call. <laughs> So Gwen, what what do you have to say um, besides the change in the new website? What else did they talk about? Um, well, I'd like to I'd like to comment on what Susie was talking about with the website. This stuff, you guys, is like playing a new board game. <laughs> you know, you can read the directions over and over and over and over again and be prepared for it and understand it. But the only way you're going to know how to play is to play the game. And you're going to play with people who are no, who have played before and know what to do. And we're all going to learn it alongside each other. So deep breath, no biggie. It'll be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> and the other, the, I missed that first part of Jesse Stam's um, stuff. I logged on a little bit late, but I had, um, I had watched his live right. uh, video earlier in the day. So um, what I took away from it, I mean, um, the Valentines were on talking about, um, you know, we're, we're doing all of this work and we've all been doing this accountability and we've all hopefully, whether we're new or old or in between, um, we need to not let up at this time of the year um, and not let the chatter and the clutter and the busyness of the holidays with our families and everything that's going on in our life affect our end goal. Um, we've talked about this for a while now. That's that why, right? If you want your business to go here, then those actions have to be, con they have to continue. Um, so I, I took it that we just, um, keep in action. And then Dr. Anderson was very poignant in that, um, you know, people usually come to holidays like Thanksgiving and talk about the past and they talk about their negative things and they get in arguments with family members and they drudge up old things. And he said, you know, let's be a beacon of light. Let's live above the line and tell them, you know, love them and try to lead them towards the bright future that's ahead and just be that. Just be a, an Optivian. That's what he said. Don't try to sell anybody anything. Don't try to do anything. Just live the life of an Optivian with optimism and gratitude and grace. Um, wow. So that was my that was my takeaway. That was beautiful. Just beautiful, Gwen. And I kudos to you, Gwen. I have to say, for this awesome um, accountability group you've got going. I heard from my coach. D about how amazing it is. I mean, she has so many calls and things to respond to because of 
her action for the, is it's been three weeks that you guys have been going? Mm, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Three weeks. She said, I just can't even tell you. So I called Gwen that day and I said, sign me up. I want to go in for the 10 days that are left. <laughs> anyway, I think it's just great. How many are on Gwen's accountability um, thread? Yeah. That's and, we ha and we've had some, just so you all know, and those of you who are listening to recordings, um, you can come in. We've had some people who've come in and it's not been for them. So they've finished out the week and have let it go. And then we've had come, some people like Claudia that are joining. Um, so if you're interested, we're going to, I do believe, um, and I'll have to talk to the November accountability group, but I do believe we're going to continue going because we need to continue to plant in December um, and then cultivate those relationships. And it's just taking one step further. So for those of you who think that, you know, you're doing it already and it's a little tedious and it's monotonous or, you know, any of those, that negative chatter that you're getting, it's taking it a little, a little further in what we're doing. So if you're interested, reach out to your mentor. Yeah, that's right. I was just writing to poor, poor um, uh, Jillian trying to get on. <laughs> she oh. says, I keep trying, but I keep getting kicked out. But oh, anyway. Let's talk about, Glenda? I just wanted to, for Heidi, I wanted to introduce um, Thomas and congratulate him on being senior coach. So that's Thomas. Do you go by Tom or Thomas? I, I usually go by Tom. Tom, okay, I'll call you Tom. <laughs> so how long have you been coaching? Uh, well, I started uh, right before the convention, like two weeks before the convention. Which he was at. Yes. That's amazing. Um, so tell us a little bit about your, your journey so far. Well, so far, uh, of course, I, I want to help other people succeed to do the health um, improvement like I did. Um, my health has improved so much, not just, not just my diabetes, but my cholesterol, my, my blood, sh blood uh, pressure. So many things have changed. Um, so much more energy. Uh, everything has has come full circle. I feel so much younger in this new body, um, being, being eighty pounds lighter. Wow. And um, I went eighty pounds. Eighty pounds. Oh my goodness! Eighty wow. pounds lower. Yes, eighty-two. I lost. And uh, I started at two fifty-two and ended up at one seventy. Wow. wow. So it, it's such a big change. No kidding. Uh, we, had, we had only lived down here in Florida for three years, and, and uh, we went back to Elkhart, Indiana, where we moved down from. And everyone who saw the different me got very excited about what I had been doing and, and wanted to find out why. And so this new influx of people is from that trip. Nice. <laughs> really inspiring people. They yes. want to do what you're doing. Yes, I have four new people from up there that are all, awesome. all doing well. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, uh, uh, my, my first one that I got on about, about five weeks ago has already lost over 20 pounds. Wow. She hadn't been able to lose any weight on anything, on any type of a diet or anything else. She hadn't been able to lose weight for 20 years. And she's yeah. lost 20 pounds now, and she's ecstatic. She's going to make a great coach. <laughs> That's so neat. I'm so excited for you. I can't believe, I mean, I, I'm just looking at you, watching you, and... It always just amazes me to to look at people like you and go 80 pounds and you're not like, you look healthy. You don't look like saggy or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you. And I'm glad you're on our team. This is going to be fun to have more men on our team. Well, actually, last weekend, I went to a meeting down in uh, Sarasota, Florida uh, with Dr. Joe Pecorero. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I, got, I got inspired a little bit down there. He, uh, he showed me a program that he did on his TV uh, that laid everything out for, for newcomers. And uh, I, was, 
I was really taken um, back by it because I didn't know something like that existed. Um, was it like a PowerPoint presentation? Very similar to a PowerPoint. He did it on his TV, though. And mm -hmm. it was wonderful. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And, and I've gotten all sorts of ideas about how to use that. Yay. Oh, that's so nice. that's awesome. Yeah. We, all, we all know those tools are available. We just don't want to overwhelm you before you become senior coach. <laughs> now that you got you know, under your belt, woohoo. Sorry, Susie. Go ahead. What's, that's all right. What's really exciting about that is what they're always driving home is that how important events are, mm -hmm. how important it is to go to events because yep. that's what inspires you. So that's, that's awesome. Well, you're. Go ahead. Yeah, and that's where we learn new stuff, right? That's right. Yeah, I mean, anytime we have, anytime, and we have regional Facebook groups too for health coaches. So if you're not in a Florida or a, you know, Southeast Florida, uh, Southeast uh, US group, we have different geographical Facebook groups for coaches so that when there's events happening in those areas, different teams are putting them on, they post them in there. So if you're a drivable distance, they are there. And it's always in, co they try to always put them in coach connection too, which is pretty soon not going to be coach connection. I want to go to all of them. Yeah. <laughs> even your clients up in, um, your new clients up in Indiana, you can hook them up with events and, yep. you know, get you some coaches up there. Yep. That's right. Yep. And then every time you travel there, it's a write-off. There you go. That's nice too. <laughs> See what you learn from these calls. <laughs> Jillian's back. Yes, Jillian, talk to us while you can. Hi, sorry, you guys. I didn't know that I wasn't going to get good service. Um, and I'm in my car, so it's super dark. Um, I'm a, I'm so excited. So I was talking to my new coach about all the new changes, and it's so funny because she's brand new, so she doesn't even know what's new and what's changing. But like, it's just exciting to be a part of a company that is looking out for you. And so I told her that I said, you're going to, you're going to start and there's going to be like a lot of changes, but they're for the better. And if you just go with the flow, like you're, you're really gonna, um, you're really just going to see how this is, um, you know, all, I just, I just really feel like, I feel like the company is so connected to us as coaches and when we're trying to learn and grow and, and better our, our businesses and they're right alongside of us, it's like a huge comfort. So she's looking for that. And so that was really cool to be able to share with her. And then it kind of just takes the ease out of all the changes, you know, that, that might seem overwhelming to a new coach. So that was a good conversation that we had. Um, and I'm like, like, uh, Sue, like Susie said, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know who else said it cause it was a blur, but I'm just excited. I think it's going to be so nice to have all of these updates and, and things that maybe we've, you know, struggled with in the past, but it's, it's, you know, we're looking forward to that. So it's, it's going to be really fun. That's so great. Thanks, Jillian. Shall we, everybody share something that you've done this week that is awesome? Some, some win that you've had? Who wants to be first? Okay, Marilyn, I know you want to be. <laughs> you're on mute <laughs> oh is she on mute she can there she is yeah okay i just unmuted big win let me think grandbaby's here that's a good one <laughs> that's a big win okay i have a new coach that just started um this week and glenda has, glenda has been great to work with me with him and he signed on to two new people this week and we have and he's got a couple other potentials so that's exciting wow. really exciting wow. so that's good great uh, i'm looking forward to that Marilyn, he couldn't be on today he has family in town also but that's good Marilyn's getting real close glenda has been great helping me thank you glenda for helping me with joe a lot <laughs> Marilyn is so close like she has one coach that's just um she gets one more client this month she'll be senior coach and Joe says he's going to be senior coach so Good. that happens Marilyn will be ED this month oh, oh, we, need good get, job. we need to get them going that's yeah. great so that's good okay. stuff who else who's next okay Glenn <laughs> you haven't talked yet well I haven't talked yet 
I have a, a couple of uh, folks that are close to becoming coaches, I think. Great. So we're still working on them. That nice. is good. good job. Have you done three-way calls with Heidi? I have not. Next step. <laughs> That's right. Okay, who's next? I won't pick on anybody. Yes, go. Tell me your name. My name is Ann Carter. Oh, Ann, of course and, I know you. Let me fix your name. And, and um, uh, sorry for jumping on late. I was on a call. So what was the question? What's gone on in our week? Yeah, just give us one of your wins. Oh, gosh. <laughs> every day is a win. <laughs> yeah, every day is a, a blessing and a win. Um, well, I... I'm, uh, I signed up two people last week, one being a doctor. Wow. That was a wow. That was a wow, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, what happened was this uh, woman that um, lives in Ohio, she came through my city, Roanoke, Virginia, and she um, came to my networking group, okay? Met her one time. She uh, went back home. I talked to her in Ohio and she signed up. She went in to see her physician who was a good friend of hers, but also her medical physician. After six weeks, the medical physician, which is this lady said, wow, what are you doing? So she says, you know, I've been your friend and your physician for 20 plus years. You've never been able to do this. What is the secret? So the secret is she told her I'm her coach now <laughs> and yeah, it's going to roll. It's going to start booming. Whoa. So, so God is good all the time. He is. Thanks, Ann. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll let you guys choose next. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ann, that's so exciting. I am so I am I'm, so pumped, Jillian. Oh my <laughs> gosh. That is the coolest blessing. Wow. Yeah, I am on a roll, girl. I am so on a roll. It's like it's just snowballing. Oh my gosh. Well, so I had um I have from doing our three by three uh the little group we have in Facebook, our accountability group, I have two interested calls set up. And uh, just so much follow-up. I, I absolutely love the follow-up. I feel like that's where I was lacking mostly when we started yeah. this. And I feel uh -huh. like that, that, is, that is huge um, consistency for me is, is this yeah. follow-up. And sometimes on our little accountability sheet, I'll put the same person day after day after day if I've been following up with them consistently. Yeah. And so it's really... Um, it's really awesome to keep track of. And then I kind of, so the, uh, the girl that I invited on the call last week, um, Courtney, who's my new coach, she, um, has decided now she was going to, she wasn't really signing up to do the program, which I had talked to her about. Um, but I think since doing this three by three by three, and she's been watching all my Facebook posts, she said, I actually want to do both. Like I, I want to start and, and get, go ahead and, um, get my food. I just can't handle feeling this way anymore. So we had a good conversation last night. And as she was telling me how she was feeling, because this is the pre, right? This is the before the program. I told her to just write down. I was like in my car. So I told her to write down everything she was feeling right now, because that's going to be a part of your story that you're going to share and that you don't forget. And so she's like, Oh, that's such a good idea. She just like, it's just so fun to hear people every once in a while say that this is such a blessing. And they're so glad that you reached out yeah. to them. And she, right. she was one I reached out to with the three by three by three. I just randomly friend requested her. And, um, so she, anyways, it was just really good. It was a, it was a good conversation and it's fun to see the process working. So it, kind of, it yeah. is. Thanks yeah. for sharing that. That it is, it's true. You know, follow up is definitely the key. Yeah. And I'm finding that fun as well with mm -hmm. me. Yep. Thanks for sharing, Jillian. Yeah. No kidding. The conversation part of it is, is important too. the question going in and really engaging and being genuine with the conversations. It's like yeah. not just commenting on a Facebook post on one of your new friends, but looking and being engaging, asking a question, you know, 
Um, it was a going to New York City is a bucket list of mine. What was your favorite thing that you would not miss the next time? I just did that today, you know, and we've then 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 there's this whole little conversation that started. And then all of a sudden you start seeing that person commenting and liking and now they're over in your world, right? So now you've got more butts in the seats, which is the whole point of all of that. And you remember that person because you've yeah. had a conversation. I've had a hard time remembering new Facebook friends because I make so many of them yeah. and then they come on board and honestly, ha do you have this right? They, you, they want to know. So you get them on the phone and they act like they've known you your whole life. And I don't have any idea who they are. Before I get on the call, I have to look to see who my mutual friends are. And now, most of the time, they're mutual friends. I don't even know who they are. That it's is like, amazing. Oh but if we're engaging in conversation, then at least I have a starting point. So did you ask her about New York because she was from New York? No, or? she's there. She went on vacation. Oh. Okay. She was there and po was posting on. She's one of my new friends. She accepted a couple days ago. And then I said, you know, thanks for fr Facebook, friending me on Facebook. It's, you know, Facebook's been telling me I knew we need to be friends for a while now. Happy face. And then she waved and gave me a thumbs up. And then I needed to do my question today. So I'm kind of using my list to go back to the people that I've newly friended and newly engaged in a chat and I'm going to their Facebook page. And she had these wonderful pictures of these girls and she's got like 900 Facebook friends and she's got this wow. wonderful group of girlfriends and they're all in New York. And it's like, I'm genuinely interested in how fun, right? That they're there doing this and what was your favorite thing? So now it's like, oh yeah, I know Carol, you know, we're buds. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 That's really been the missing link for me. That conversational question. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. Well, today I um, remember how a while back when we had that organizing um, class of yours, Gwen, <laughs> and I said something about having all these um, lists of names. Well, I was trying to get organized with that list. And I just can't bear the thought of throwing them away. Um, so last night I thought, you know, I should just message every one of these. It's the, do you remember how we used to do the, um, the lines on paper? It would be uh -huh. on paper. I felt more organized back then. And so I thought, okay, I'll just text, text. I'm texting, not messaging. I had, I was just texting, just going down a list on every name. And I probably did, I don't know, 30 maybe so far. But I bet I've had 15 um, respond back. And it's just, hi, I was just thinking about you. Wanted to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Uh -huh. This is a perfect wow. time to say. I got, and, and I didn't get, but one of them said, oh, did they change the food? And I go, she goes, I just don't like it. And I thought, did she sign up with somebody else or what? Because <laughs> it had been like a couple of years since she ordered. Well, she placed an order. I said, do you remember how to go on and order? And she goes, I do. And so I, so I let her take control of it. And then she was saying, I don't know what I like. And I said, can you talk right now? Oh, well, first she said, well, I just don't like the food. And I said, well, tell me why you don't like it. Or tell me what's important, losing weight or, or the food. And she said, are you available right now? And I said, yep, call me up. Here's my number. And awesome. I, I, you know, she gets the free meals. She's ordering a yep. full month of food. She, cost is not a problem. So she's probably going to be getting some Optavias. And so, and it, just by saying, hey, you happy Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, but a lot of them, I'm just going to, you know, I'll tear the pages off after I text. But I'm thinking that texting, they are responding versus messenger. Mm -hmm. Right. So, well, they, I think it feels a little less like trolling, right? Don't well, you? It's, right. it's more personal. There were, right. there were a couple that said, who is this? <laughs> and yeah. I said, this is Glenda Rowe. And, <laughs> and so they go, oh, I, I didn't have your name in my thing and said, oh, happy Thanksgiving to you too. So anyway, it just was, I'm. That's beautiful. So do you have their phone? You have their phone number. So do you have their email address too? I have all that. So are they in your connections? They probably are. Okay. But you know, a lot of them I never talked to. Right. But that text is so personal. She hasn't mm -hmm. done an order since 
June of 14. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows that, right? For posterity here, right? If a client hasn't ordered more than 365 days, they're like a brand new client. Yep. They go back in, they log in with their regular username and password, and they get five free boxes and the discount at the beginning, and they're like a brand new client on BSlim. That is awesome. Well, we are to three minutes to the end. Susie, you didn't say anything about your win, I don't think. Are you there? She might be here in face only. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, but I'm just trying to get dinner for my family that's here. So I'm, I've been listening, and they've been listening too. <laughs> oh, good. Yay! Okay. Hi, Susie's family. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Josh. Hi, Pat. Oh, Glenda. <laughs> Mike, no, Josh isn't here. But Mike saw you, Glenda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, great. Awesome. Well, we're about to sign off. Anybody have anything they want to say? Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Happy everybody. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And congratulations again, Thomas. And yep, that's so, just so great. Thank you yep. very much. Very exciting. Yep. Now five more. Yeah. Senior coach again. Rinse and repeat. That's right. Let's see what new stuff we've got next week. Yay! Hey, thanks everybody. Bye bye. 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 bye.